Hello everyone. I hope you are fit and fine. Today in this video session we are going to see a beautiful poem Autumn. Autumn is a poem written by Kalidas. Kalidas is a famous Indian poet and he is considered as one of the greatest Indian poets all the time. In his poetry he is always personifies nature in various forms. In this poem also he personifies nature in the form of a maiden. So without wasting the time let's see how he personifies nature in the first stanza of the poem. So in the first stanza of the poem the poet said the autumn comes a maiden fair in slenderness and grace with nodding rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face in flowers of grasses she is clad and as she moves along birds greet her with their cooing glad like a breathless tinkling song so in the first stanza of this particular poem the poet kalidas compared the nature with the autumn season autumn is a season which is very beautiful and always fascinates the people so in the first stanza of this particular poem he said that the autumn comes a maiden fair so he compared the autumn season with a maiden maiden means unmarried young girl so he compared the autumn season with a slender graceful young girl who is attractive who is looking gorgeous and he compared the autumn season with her and he said that in slenderness and grace gracefully she looks she looked very beautiful she looked attractive and of course her hairs nodding rice stems in her hair so the season of autumn arrives like a graceful beautiful and slender young girl and the beautiful lilies and the tender rice stems so of course he compared the autumn season with a beautiful girl who is young who is unmarried and of course he compared the beauty of her with nature or he compared the nature's beauty with her so here he is saying to us that she looks very attractive and she seems to have been dressed in green grass and of course she looks beautiful in this garment or the robe and here he said that her hairs were actually looks like the rice stems in this particular poem the poet would like to tell us that the nature is like the beautiful young girl who is tender slender and graceful and in this particular stanza he compared her face with the lilies lilies are beautiful flowers and he compared her face with the lilies her face looks brighter her face looks beautiful like the lilies and of course he said that her hairs looks like the stems of the rice so stems of the rice are always looks very beautiful as so we compared her hairs with the stems of the rice and of course he said that when she moves when she walks on the road it means this particular maiden girl when she walks or when she moves here and there that time she was welcomed by the birds and these birds are cooing cooing this is a sound of the bird and of course these birds are cooing they are making this sound to welcome her and of course for them this is a great moment this is the joyous moment because the girl looks very beautiful and in this particular thing they said that that happy cooing or the sound of this particular bird is like the sound of the bracelet that is the tinkling sound of the bracelet 
bracelet is an ornament which was worn the girls specially on the wrist and of course this particular bracelet sometimes chimes they are making the sound and of course now he said to us that the nature is very beautiful and nature is like the slender beautiful girl and in the next stanza of the poem the poet now once again personifies nature in the form of the ornaments or the beauty let's see then the titan adorns the night of multitudinous stars her silken robe is white moonlight set free from cloudy bars and on her face the radiant moon bewitching smiles are shown she seems a slender maid who soon will be a woman grown so here a diadem adorns the night diadem means crown in the night she wears the crown of the stars which was made of the stars multitudinous multitudinous means numerous stars which were used to made her crown and now she wore this particular crown in the time of the night and this time she looks very bright due to this particular crown which was worn on her head and her silken robe which was looks like the white moonlight it means this particular dress looks like the white moonlight and of course the dress is looking very beautiful and she looks like the fairies she looks like the fairy queen and of course her face is now looking radiant moon radiant means the particular face looks very bright she looks very beautiful now and her face looks like the white moonlight and the smile which was on this on the face of this particular girl which was bewitching bewitching means captivating enchanting fascinating the people and of course people are looks like they were fascinating they were captivating by seeing the smile which was bewitching and which was captivating on the face of this beautiful girl she seems a slender maid it means this young girl now is in the age which is growing age and of course after some time this girl will become a maid maid means she will become the woman and of course when she will become woman she looks very beautiful her grace will increase and so of course in this particular second stanza the poet at night he said that the crown of stars seem to adorn her face which was beautiful and her robe of silk is made of a beautiful beautiful white moonlight so her dress or the robe which she wore now which looks very beautiful and her the color of this particular dress is white due to the moonlight and of course this autumn maid it means this particular girl will become a lady soon it means her bewitching smiles will soon become or growing up to be an even more beautiful in the form of a woman so this particular poem told us something about the beautiful girl and this girl compares with the nature so here in this particular poem the observer of this particular girl who is like the lover of nature it means this person is the fan of nature kalidas is always would like to spend his time in the nature he is very happy when whenever he is in the touch of the nature so his poems always reflected his joy and ecstasy when he was in the touch of nature so he is always personifies the beauty of nature in various forms 
I hope that you have understood this particular poem. This poem is all about the season autumn. In Indian atmosphere, autumn season is Sharad or Sharad Rutu. And of course, this particular season is very beautiful. And in this poem, autumn gives the new birth to the nature. It revives the beauty of the nature. And so, the poet would like to tell tell us that without nature, it's not possible to gain the happiness in our life. I hope that you have understood the message of this particular poem. This is the bewitching smile of the young girl. And of course, this bewitching smile is compared with the beauty of the nature. So, in this particular poem, the poet gives us a strong message that always spend our time in the nature and always try to see the beauty of nature. So with this particular message, I would like to thank you for watching my videos. Thank you everyone. Stay home, stay safe, stay tuned.